Good morning. We're going to read the story, Get Lost, Laura. This is by Jennifer Norway. Do any of you have brothers or sisters? Are they older or younger than you? No matter which they are, you're going to be able to relate to this story. Oh, there's a lot of hints on this page. Get lost, Laura. Lucy and her cousin Alice were playing dress up. Let's pretend we're going to the ball, said Lucy. I'm in the carriage already, said Alice, swinging on the garden gate. Quick, get in. As Lucy wobbled to the gate in her mother's high heel shoes, Laura grabbed one of them. I want them, she said. So this is Alice. This is Lucy. And this is Laura. Let go, Laura, said Lucy angrily. But she did give the shoes to her little sister. Then she put on a green pair. Laura wanted those, too. How many feet do you think you've got, sighed Lucy, handing them over. Why don't you go play in your sandbox? But Laura reached for Lucy's big hat and grabbed the cherries. They broke off and rolled away like marbles into the vegetable garden. Get lost, Laura, said Lucy. Go away. So her sister, her little sister was really frustrating her. So she's like, get lost. But Laura didn't go away. She stuck the big hat on her head. I'm mad at Laura, Lucy hissed at Alice. Let's hide. But your mom says we have to play with her, whispered Alice. We can still keep an eye on her, said Lucy, as she tiptoed toward the end of the garden. Let's play hide and seek, Laura. You're it. Alice pulled open the shed door. Quick, let's hide, she said. Dad doesn't let us come in here, said Lucy. He says it's not safe. We'll be very careful, said Alice. The shed smelled of paint and mildew and was full of tools and flower pots. They found an old baby carriage, but they couldn't get it out from behind the junk. Look, said Lucy, there's a big hole in the planks here. Maybe it's a secret passage. They squeezed through and found themselves in the garden next door. Lucy's neighbor was sitting on the deck chair, reading the paper. Is that two cats I see in my flower bed? She asked. Your daddy needs to fix that hole, Lucy. Otherwise, I might crawl through and give you a scare. But the neighbor was smiling. Lucy and Alice wiggled back into the shed. Alice's dress caught on the plank and ripped all the way down one side. I'm glad I don't have a baby sister, said Alice. Babies are yucky. They're always wet and they dribble. Laura's all right, said Lucy. She dribbles because she's getting her teeth. Mom will be angry if she sees we're not playing with her. She opened the shed door. Come find us, Laura, she called. There was silence. I wonder where she's gone, said Alice. They looked all around the shed and then under it, but there was no sign 
of Laura. There weren't many other things, there weren't many other places to look. Alice pulled all the clothes out of the suitcase. Lucy looked in the vegetable garden. They were full of scrunchy snails and slimy slugs. But Laura wasn't under there. Alice lifted the garbage lid and peered inside, but shut it quickly. Even Laura wouldn't hide in there. She couldn't have gone far, said Alice. Her legs are too little. She can move really fast if she wants to, said Lucy. Look, Alice, you left the gate open after you were swinging on it. There were some boys playing football in the field beyond the gate, but there was no sign of Laura. Lucy called over the wall to her other neighbor, Julie. Have you seen Laura anywhere, she asked. You didn't leave the gate open, did you? said Julie. You'd better go and tell your mother while I check the playing field. And she hurried off. How do you think Lucy and Alice are feeling right now? Do you think they're kind of worried? I think so. Kind of anxious. Do you think she's really lost? said Alice. Monsters or anything might get her. I don't believe in monsters, said Lucy bravely. Maybe she called into the shed when we came out, and she wants us to find her. But she wasn't in the shed, so they wiggled through the hole again to the flower bed next door. But she wasn't there either. Lucy began to panic. As they rushed back through the shed, Lucy knocked over a jar of black paint. I wish we'd never come in here, Lucy shouted angrily. I said we shouldn't. It's all your fault, Alice. You're the one who wanted to hide, said Alice. Yes, but you were swinging on the gate and didn't shut it, shouted Lucy. She's your sister, and you shouldn't have left her, Alice shouted back. I said we shouldn't. I bet you get in trouble. Lucy burst into tears. Mom will be furious, she wailed. I'll have to run away, too. Then Alice began to feel bad. Don't do that, Alice said. That'll mean two children lost instead of one. Anyway, it was partly my fault. I hope they don't say we can never play together again. And she started to cry, too. I'd better tell Mom, sniffed Lucy. I wished I'd never told Laura to get lost. She pushed open the kitchen door very slowly. And there, sitting on her mother's lap, was Laura. Laura, cried Alice. You were here all the time. Don't get mad, Mom, said Lucy, wiping her eyes on her mother's sleeve. I know we should have been watching her. We look for her everywhere. We're so sorry. Laura slid off her mother's lap. She liked the look of Lucy's fancy barrette and tried to pull it out of her hair. Ow, said Lucy. Get! 
She was going to say, get lost, Laura, but she didn't. And that is the end of the story. So I know it's kind of hard when you have younger brothers and sisters because sometimes they're trying to do the things that you want to do. But it's also kind of hard when you're the younger brother or sister, isn't it? So anyway, I hope you have a great day. And if you have brothers or sisters, I want you to look for a way to be thankful that they are not lost. Have a great day. Bye-bye.